Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a HC, HCF of 3 to power of 317, 3 to power of 317 plus 1 comma 3 to power of 317 minus 1. Now to solve this problem we one must aware about the one important concept that is HCF of any two consecutive even numbers consecutive even numbers even numbers is two example HCF of 14 and 16 is 2. So, this is a key point that we are going to use here. Okay, let me explain how we will make use of this point to solve this our question. So, and we know that R number, the so raised to power of any number, is used as NOD number. So, by using this concept, 3 to the power of 317, here 3 is an odd number and odd to the power of any number gives us odd. And 3 to the power of 317 plus 1, that means odd number plus 1 is even number. Similarly, we can talk about the 317, 3 to the power of 317 minus 1 is also an even number. Now, if you observe this, if you observe our question, we have to find out HCF of these two numbers. That means HCF of 3 to the power of 317 plus 1, comma 3 to the power of 317 minus 1. And this is an even number. This is also an even number. And if you observe the difference between these two even numbers is also an even even number that is 2 the difference between these two numbers is what 2 that means these two are even numbers differences of these two is 2 means these two are consecutive even numbers so by that we can say HCF of these two consecutive even numbers HCF of these two consecutive even numbers is 2 similarly we can solve another question HCF of 5 to the power of 2018 plus 1 comma 5 to the power of 2018 minus 1 is 2. That means if you know one single line property which talks about the HCF of two conjugate num even numbers is 2. If you know this we can solve this type of problems very easily and within a short span of time. Thank you friends for watching this video.